Aerogerenesis, supposedly a next level stimulant, is it really all that? Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little re-review of Area Gerenesis. Now, I had reviewed this a long time ago, probably about two or three years ago. Of all the bulk stimulants I own, I own probably about 15 of them, this was the only bag that completely got dumped out and got spilled. So I did an original review on it. To be honest, I actually made some mistakes in that review. I think I understand this compound a little bit more. So I wasn't really able to continue to take it, finish the bag, um, have more opinions about it, have a more pin down understanding of it so i'm super excited to be reviewing it today and another reason i'm super interested in trying this is because i just tried this product called vintage pre-workout and i wasn't even using it for really working out i was kind of using it for coffee in the morning and there's something about this vintage pre-workout that's just mind-blowingly good it is just so good and like one of the extra ingredients that they use in that blend that I suspected was making me feel good was this area gerenesis. So I was very interested to see how good is vintage pre? Is, is this gonna make me, all the other pre-workouts feel the same if I toss some of this in? Or is vintage pre like way better for some reason? So I was super interested to see how much good effects I get off this area gerenesis. So real quick, just talking about the compound. Um, this is structurally very, very, very similar to amphetamine. Stuff like DMHA and DMAA, they're missing this phenol ring. I think that's what it's called, but it's like this ring that's connected to the molecule. DMAA and DMHA are missing this ring, but this compound has it. So the base compound here is something called phenethylamine and it's a naturally occurring compound. You could buy it legally. It is supposed to give you a lot of positive euphoric effects, but your stomach breaks it down really quick. So it does give you a little bit of effects, but only for about 10 minutes. And if you take phenethylamine and you add two methyl groups to the N, you have aerogerenesis. So essentially all you'd have to do is take one of the methyl groups from the N and add it to the A position and you would have methamphetamine straight up. Now, I understand in chemistry, there's no way to just like take it and move it. You would have to do some chemical process to turn it into something else, I get you. But just if you could just move the methylation from the N to the A, it would be methamphetamine. So it's very, very, very close, but don't freak out. It's nowhere near as addicting, as strong, as stimulating. Your body breaks down the original phenethylamine so quick. When you amethylate it, AMP amphetamine. So when you put an amethylation, it becomes amphetamine. And the amethylation is what makes it so, so strong. Like amphetamine is known for being one of the most potent and strong stimulants. It's amazing how you just, you have something like this, which makes it a little bit stronger than phenethylamine. And then if you were to rearrange it, you have this super strong addictive chemical that pretty much nobody should be touching. So anyways, I found that kind of interesting. It's very, very, very close to amphetamine. So the way that this compound makes me feel is kind of like a pleasant, uplifting boost. It's really not that strong. It's not something I would really use to um, keep me awake all day. Um, it's not something I'd use as like a backbone stimulant. It's something that I would add on to some caffeine. Um, I was noticing even when I would do two scoops, two and a half scoops with a large dose of caffeine, at least for me, it wasn't overly stimulating. It's a great addition to other compounds. I see why Vintage Muscle used it because it just is the one of the best additions to a lot of other really good stimulants out there. I don't really feel anxious. I never really felt overly stimmed. At the same time, I didn't really feel like I was gonna feel energy for like four or five hours later, but it's something really nice to add into a mix. And if you want something really safe, but also that's gonna give you an extra little bump. Take a bump. And you don't mind you know, spending the amount of money to buy this. DMHA, amp citrate, you're probably gonna get a little bit more stimulation for your money. But if you're somebody who wants kind of like a next level supplement nootropic, that's gonna do some special things, that's going to be very pleasant, but it's also not gonna be extreme. It's something to add into other mixes. I actually highly recommend this. And as far as the taste goes, it doesn't really taste good at all. I actually felt a little bit queasy while I was taking it. And I don't know if it's because I need to use so much more, like you need probably more scoops of this versus DMHA, DMAA, amp citrate. You will need a little bit more scoops of this. So maybe that's what's contributing to the bad taste. It wasn't the worst taste ever, but it, it wasn't pleasant. And I did feel a little bit queasy on it. 
And as far as my dosage here, I usually win about two rounded scoops. Now I was kind of going off my dosage of vintage pre-workouts, which I, I will say right now, I'll link it down below. Vintage pre-workout, it's mind blowing, it's great. It contains a large dose of aerogenesis and doesn't taste bad at all. I have no idea how they did it. And it is far more impressive than this product alone. I know that this product probably contributes to how vintage pre makes you feel, but Something about the Vintage Pre blend is just amazing. I love it and it was much more impressive than this. I'll link it down below, $20. I definitely recommend checking it out. I would love to hear what you think. I really enjoyed this product. I could use it almost any time. I mean, I could use it kind of near the end of the day. I could toss it in with a large dose of caffeine. Uh, it's just very, very versatile. But at the same time, it's not something that's going to be stronger than caffeine, last longer than caffeine. It's something to add to your stack and just give you an extra little level of relaxing, awakening, energy stimulation. You know what I mean? So anyways, guys, I really like this product. It's one of the bulk stimulants that I could use the most, but at the same time, it still has an effect. I could use this one almost any time. Um, the effects are pretty pleasant, although they don't last for a long time. I didn't get anxiety either. Vintage Pre has 175 milligrams per serving. So two scoops is 150 milligrams in here. So I did two rounded scoops. So hopefully it was reaching that 175 milligram point because I like the dosage of Vintage Pre, a fantastic blend. So anyways, guys, that's been my little re-review of Area Gerenesis. I probably will fly through the pack. And if there's some extra things I need to describe or something else that I discovered, I will be doing another review at the end of this pack. So anyways, guys, let me know what stimulants you're liking. Let me know what you think of Area Gerenesis. Let me know what your go to nootropic blend stack is. I'd be very interested to see. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of your guys' help. You guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.